Hey girl, hey! Today I will be making with you halva. It's another Middle Eastern sweet that hopefully you will enjoy. First of all, we need to make the syrup. You'll need one half of freshly squeezed lemon. You'll need two cups of sugar and one cup of water. Every two cups of sugar, you'll add one cup of water. Let's go and do the syrup. So we'll get a, a saucepan. We will be putting saucepan you'll be putting one two sugar and one water the lemon I'm using is very small so that's why I said half a freshly squeezed lemon so put it here and squeeze That's about it. Give that a whisk. Now this goes on the stove for 20 minutes. You have to make the syrup first so you can let it cool down before you make the sweet because if the sweet is hot, you need the syrup to be cold or room temperature at least. Preheat the oven on a temperature of 375 degrees. Now we're gonna bring a brush for the pan. It's a matter of a preference if you like your sweet to be thin and crunchy or you like it to be thick and not so crunchy. So it's up to you. I'll let you pick the size of the pan. So now we're gonna put some of our sesame butter, which called tahini in Arabic. We're gonna just rub it into the pan. We're just gonna, we're just gonna what? We're just gonna, we're gonna spread the sesame butter on our pan. A lot of people don't like the taste of tahini. If you do not like the taste of tahini, you can put pan so the sweet does not stick to the pan. Now after you're done with spraying the sesame butter onto the pan, set it on the side and bring a small saucepan. And I have over here, these are the seeds that are called halba, but I just looked it up for you and it's, it's called um, fennel or fenugreek in English. So, okay, we gonna put four, tablespoons now we're gonna cover it with two cups of water and let it boil for about 15 minutes while that boiling Go ahead and prepare the dry ingredients. You'll need semolina, two cups of semolina. And one cup of flour. Two tablespoons of 
sugar. And one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. When you see all the sugar has dissolved, turn down the heat until it starts to thicken up. After that, turn off the heat. Bring a strainer and strain it. We will be putting those seeds onto the dry mixture. Now you need a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and you need half a cup of vegetable oil. You will be putting the water that we boiled the seeds in fennel seed, jalapeno seed. We'll put a little at a time to see how much we need. And I'll show you the consistency that it needs to be in. That's the consistency you're looking for. We grab the pan again and we start grabbing a little at a time of the dough that we made. Just spread it on your hand and slowly put it in the pan just like so. Are you ready to learn the coolest way to cut your halwa? Watch and enjoy! After I'm done cutting it, I will cover it with a nice and clean towel and put it on top of the oven that it's been heating up so it could rise up a little. Now that's how it looks like after rising for about 15 minutes. Now I will be putting it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes.
or until you see golden color around the edges. Okay, it's ready right now. Just came out of the oven. We're gonna bring our syrup. And we're gonna pour it on top. Before you cut it and eat it, please like and subscribe for more sweet videos. Thank you.